Hi, Scorpio. This is your June 2024 reading, Gemini season reading. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below, as well as the extended version of this reading, which is in the Patreon link below. And just so you um, were aware, uh, those come up between 28 to 40 hours. Uh, if I forget, I'm sorry, they'll be up as soon as I can get them up. And the first cards out are the Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. Wow. Well, if you've been waiting for your turn, if you've been slowly or surely beginning to feel more lucky, if you have been pushing your luck, right, we'll, we'll see. However, I do think this, for a lot of you, um, this does represent the astrology of the week uh, moving forward, too, which is very interesting. So we'll definitely get more into that into the second part, but the judgment judgment is also a representation of Pluto, and Pluto is a huge deal. I believe it's gone retrograde. Sorry, I don't have all my notes with me at the moment. And regardless, intuitively, this is about what is yours. This is about what is real. Um, for those of you who have been feeling like, when is it my turn or when are the, when is something going to give it, if you've been going through some, a lot, the time is now. However, you need to listen and you need to also use your voice when necessary. How do I know when it's necessary? Well, a lot of times we feel resistance when our voice is needed the most. So that's a good indicator um also if it's the opposite so if you're used to being quiet or passively learning sometimes it does take that action and that you know yang energy to do so and we're in a air yang month so definitely recommend moving forward with that if you need to especially because regardless you're going to be seen right you're being seen you're exposed maybe even for some of you you're exposing yourself in a way that is different where you are being heard, especially if you're a different chain on the command, if you've gotten a raise, whatever it is. But for a lot of you, this is also like, you need to pay attention to um, the world around you. It's giving you signs, it's giving you signals, it's exposing that it's also really important for you to, if you haven't, really tap into that you know childhood sense of play, childlike sense of play, not childhood, not even childhood, it's the same. But there's a lot of children, a lot of people, naked people too. So exposure, raw, very Gemini season. You may feel exposed. Um, but you may also be, this may also be helping heal different parts of you. Including if you're not having it, if you weren't having as much enjoyment. And if that's what you're wanting to do. Enjoyment, freedom, feeling free with expression within yourself. Because you're being divinely guided at this time especially if you've been going through a change this is the time to pay attention and to listen because so much is be gonna gonna come knocking at your door and it's really important to be also discerning discerning to what it is that you are calling for calling into and there's a lot of tens about 10 20 oh and what you may be finding through this process of learning to speak your needs and your truths and what you've always needed, how it connects to that child within you or how that connects to your bandwidth for joy and good things in your life um, or a different experience or whatever it is, it relates directly to your money and directly to your abundance, directly to what it is that you've built, what you want to build, what you, where it is that you're going and moving forward to, right? There's also a lot of full circles in this. So you might have also some full circle moments that begin to tie up at this time that also have had energetically something to do with your ability to receive abundance, accept abundance, um, even take a look at what that is and you're like thinking like and if you're watching and you're not a Scorpio or you're a Scorpio that's used to this it's a different kind of abundance this time you are seeing the value the deep value that you bring and you're not afraid to let people know 
you're being exposed to what this type of abundance can do for you in your home and what you want to do with your life and what you're moving forward with at this time. You may also want to be spending more money on the home or spending more of your efforts and energy in this way, building. Um, if you're you know, building a home or you're looking to build a set of foundations, this doesn't have to be necessary, necessarily physically, but this is like maybe even just your thought process, your relationship to with um, all of your outlets as well and what's needed there. Because what's coming into play right now is that you may need to address during Mercury and Gemini, it'll we'll move into Cancer towards the end of the month. But regardless, during this Mercurial season, you're being tasked, given the opportunity, whatever way you want to look at it that makes you makes more sense to you, makes you feel better. It's very obvious that you've put in a lot of work and you've also reached a certain capacity at a certain place at a certain level in a certain way in your life and now you're alchemizing that you're having tools you have tools for whatever it is that you're overcoming you're also being able to change with people so for those of you as you're building this foundation you may notice like what people you want in your life um you may be meeting new people you may be finding that you moving on moves you away from and move, moves you away from what felt like too much effort which is you know you're used to putting an effort and putting in work but you know intuitively and instinctively when you really get to that part of you you know when something isn't right a relationship isn't right um and you're not just like some some would say and you have to be careful of isolation for sure and just always being that loner especially for the more masculine types of you but now it's more about who's creating with you who also is looking towards abundance it's about it's not just mindset it's people really taking action on it as well you find that this is bringing you to a greater sense of action with your efforts in a way that's not just purely physical but doing the physical labor got you where you are. So you are, of course, grateful and appreciative for it. But you're also being asked, like, what are you going to do with all this energy, all this abundance? What are you going to do? Like, what happens when this is brought to you? What relationship do you have with abundance, with your patterns with that? Is it stemming from your childhood? Is that what's being asked of you? You're Maybe it's just like waiting to, the doors are waiting to open, but you're unwilling to step through. And about stepping through is about putting down any kind of fear or facing or acknowledging or accepting all of those things allow it to dissolve right to move through this different window you may also find that you want to collaborate with people more in the future especially people who have who are a little more disciplined who know how to have a good time but are disciplined perhaps people who know uh what they want and then, then the, for some of you, this is also about um, navigating a relationship that has some kind of power dynamic or control and you're now seeing things very clearly in that way and it's becoming rather obvious to you that through how you're communicating now, through that transition of how you're communicating, right, you're starting to see this person come out. So for some of you, this is also about exiting a specific relationship in your life that is very obviously not good for you or a dyna dam dynamic that's not good for you and you have a lot you've realized that you've put in so much effort and you felt overburdened almost and even if it's something that you left a while ago you're it's starting to replay in your mind which or it's brought up in some way, which a lot of things are stored in our body. So if we move a certain way, or exercise differently, or get deeper into something, a lot of times our body takes us deeper into what's important, what needs to become aware in your brain for you to see and move through. So you may be communicating with people in a very different way. And this allows, you know, some room for celebration, some room for growth, some room for even more abundance because you feel even clearer at the end of the month, you've like king of swords energy, very clear 
you'll also see where your stubborn or where your disciplined places are detriment and helpful. So you're going to you're going to be able to see clearly what that looks like perhaps at this time. And you may be given be careful and be wary of any opportunity that feels like things are moving too fast or you feel like it's too good to be true or you feel like wishy-washy about or people who seem overly enthusiastic um but be sure of and take seriously any idea that comes to your brain that makes you want to act on it the only way that it becomes you know a detriment or a dead end is if you decide not to continue forward with it but it looks like it may be bringing some fresh energy and fresh passion to your life, Scorpio, at this time. It's a very refreshing reading. You're in the beginning of the month as we head towards, like, the midst of Gemini season now. You're being given opportunities to really take a look at some things that have maybe you have felt all different ways around meaning shameful embarrassment, ways in which that you, even if no one's watching, you feel, you may feel small or too overly assertive. And you're starting to see that, but a lot of you, I think it's for the small. You may be connecting much deeper with, again, the connection, the communication with what spirit means to you, what kind of spiritual place that you're in in your life and how that exposes you to your relationship to abundance and how you're creating the values and the structure in your life now and what you're building it off of and that allows you to become very clear of even um an even greater view of what your relationships look like and how they have how they've brought more attention to you almost so to your to your way of thinking right even though some of these things didn't work out even though you put in a lot of effort but now you're just like clearing it up it makes you it may make you feel more empowered for some of you this change with yourself will expose um certain people to you it could be a third party person for those of you who are in or uh, maybe a monogamous or one-on-one -on -one relationship you may find out about another person or this could be even this feels more work-related that's something maybe there's been some gossip maybe you've been involved in some gossip some things are coming out and those things will be taken care of at the time but you'll also find out who it was knowing you you're gonna find out who it was so <laughs> you'll see and that may actually whether or not you did it or they're someone just trying to fuck with you now that you're being given attention, money, prosperity, whatever it is. It could be also about how you really need to address this part of you that in these relationships where you don't address like that with yourself. Like where in your life have you also maybe haven't fully accepted these things that you've been receiving yourself right or don't believe that you deserve them but you do and they're yours and anyone who makes you feel that way or anyone who wants them for you didn't put in the work or the effort and even if you didn't put in as much as you thought you did and you are and you have been and you may have to deliver some truths this month to people who may not want to hear it but that's what is going to even open up more of this energy because you're on this wave again where you you know you are who you are and you're finally getting to where you want to go you're finally seeing progress you're finally being given like a wave and now people want to come out of the woodworks and what try to blame something on you make it seem like something happened it was on you and you know, you're just kind of, you're not doing that anymore for some of you. You're just like, nah. Like, and whoever this was, you'll find out. Or you may be given an opportunity to move on, right? Or they may be given one. 
either way that situation will move fast and it will seem like it will like blow over and it's like wow like what was that but really it's for your ability to see clearly even see even more clearly what and why you're utilizing <clears throat> the certain connections in your life and why they work for you and why other ones didn't or don't if you're on the same page abund with abundance with people And it may cause you to make another, a plan that you didn't think you were going to make. You quickly see how easy it is for things to unravel. You see how quickly things can shift when you give yourself trust in the process. When you allow yourself to be aware that you have put a lot of energy and effort into these tools and you have something to give and you have something to offer and you have something that is more than just providing whether it's a service or um, a platform or a company or if you're working for someone this is like a side thing you're giving there's more community community is going to become maybe more of a progression in your life as well and you're seeing maybe where you have not given and committed fully. And then once you do, you get maybe this really great idea and you start, you know, putting in the effort and that work and you start putting in the progress or putting in the effort and the work for that progress to be made and for that plan um, to be secured, at least in your brain, at least within you, within what you're looking for or setting out to do. During this process, you may have a lot of realizations about what and who you've, what kind of energy you've allowed around you for quite some time. And you may have a lot of realizations or revelations and connections to the changes that you're making and how that's already affecting your life in a way that feels very, again, abundant. It feels very necessary. It feels like you are getting a mental break, but you're still at the same time learning. You know, with this threshold that you're reaching, you're still receiving the information. You may be surprised at the information that you receive. And as you start to become more committed, more serious about what your future looks like as you step through small fears and bigger fears and you're looking at things and you're seeing mirrors and you're taking accountability but you're also making others take accountability and you're also all of these things are starting to shape shift from the four of wands to the four of swords the more you put into your physical reality at this time the more energy you've been putting into your physical reality reality the more ideas or the more clear or the more adjustments that make sense that you're you're going to receive because you're you're in this creative process at this time the in the creative process is also about you and how you are receptive to the information how you release the information so this month scorpio i want you to receive the attention that you deserve and also see what you clearly maybe couldn't see before was in your way and now things are opening right you've created a solid foundation for things to come through that couldn't before you're acknowledging some things you're healing you're saying what you need to say that you've been maybe needing to say for a while and that's making it obvious as to why if you needed a reason why, you know, the past, you know, while, many years, perhaps 10, some, for some, again, three, like 10, then three years later, and you see how certain, and how certainly things can go left when you don't have even either the right intention or you're around people who don't even know how to begin with that and now even more so you're able to for some of you 
do something with what you've been given this month. And this is like the wide view, the healing that you've needed, the relationship that relates so directly to the one with yourself is being um, exposed. Either way, it's a good thing for you and allowing you to quickly start to plan and develop things that you couldn't once before. That was actually hard, that you put off, that you didn't understand why and then now you do. It had to happen now, even if you feel it psychically. More and more, Scorpio, it's so important for you to be present and present with yourself because what is reveals what's important to you and what you're meant to build is through this enjoyment, through what you're acknowledging, even if it seems silly, the, what you're acknowledging within you is what massively begins to spiral outward at this time. And then towards the end of the month, as we get into water sign season, you have some more contemplation to do. You'll understand why you've maybe been stuck for so long or why you haven't been able to mature in a certain way or you didn't even think about it. And then it's starting to happen. You're like, oh, this actually is really cool. And my intuition is like amazing. And how can I even play with this more? What else, you know, what else can I do with this? Gemini season's like, let's tap in. Let's tap into and utilize this magic. <laughs> um, even if it's just for you right now, because that's all that matters. And we'll get into more into the second part, which will be in the link below. 24 to 48 hours. All information to work with me below. In the future, there will be more hours to work with me on my calendar just reach out to me G uh, via email too that's also below and at some point we'll have a new podcast out which is also below but there's some on there you can look at too all right scorpio see you next month